Hey there, thank you for watching this clip solving an arc sine and tangent arc. Uh, the first thing you realize is this one has to be in an angle and so does this one. So having fun it into an angle formula, it's become sine alpha plus theta. We'll figure out what alpha and theta are and using the trig identity that this becomes sine alpha cosine theta plus cosine alpha sine theta. Okay, now what we need to do to draw the alpha and theta is using what we were given. So cosine inverse of uh, x is alpha, that's to say cosine inverse of x is equal to alpha. That's the same thing as if it we're saying cosine of alpha equal to x. So if this is 1, this is x, then this becomes 1 minus x squared. Okay, let's do the same thing for theta angle here. Well, we're given that tangent inverse of um, x is equal to theta, then that's the same thing to say tangent theta is equal to x. So x1, and then this becomes x squared plus 1. Okay. Now given those two triangles, and then we can substitute in here. So we have sine of alpha, which is uh, radical of 1 minus x squared over 1, we will write that one, uh, times cosine of theta. Cosine is over here, it's 1 over radical x squared plus 1, that's the first term, plus cosine of alpha, let's take a look, cosine of alpha is x, times sine of theta, sine of theta is x over radical of x squared plus 1. Okay, let's clean up a little bit, so we have uh, radical 1 minus x squared, plus x squared on top, divided by radical of x squared plus 1. So that's the solution. All right, hope this is really clear for you. This is how we handle to evaluate a sine of two um, angles. And um, hope it's clear. Please comment on YouTube and let me know if it's helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel, inviting you to subscribe. Together, we can make math easy. Till next time, have a confident day.